Lexus presents tennis on Sky Sports for the game changers. Well, it was very important, obviously, at one point I was, you know, a bit worried because, you know, I lost a set and then the, the beginning of third, it was uh, kind of going toe to toe. Um, but I, I thought, I, you know, the chances will, will come, you know, as I, I, you know, stay in the match and, and try to raise the level of tennis. Um, I. I have to give you know give him credit because he stepped it up. He served well, ripping forehands um, towards the end of the second and beginning of the third, and was just deservedly still in the match. Uh, could I have done certain things better? Yeah, of course I, I, I could, but you know, hopefully the rust is a bit you know uh, off, or a, a, at least a bit less rust than I'm feeling for the next match and the continuation of this tournament. Very, many times, <laughs> many, many times. I was fortunate to play so many matches in my life uh, where I have experienced uh, positive and negative, you know, uh, kind of experiences on the court with fans. Um, and yeah, I, 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 I try to, you know, uh, stick to the kind of things and routines and maybe movements or thought process that I have on the court that that make me feel centered and present and, and able to, you know, focus or refocus or, you know, uh, perform well. But at times, um, atmosphere really gets to you, you know, in a good or bad way. So um, then you use it as a fuel uh, and you connect maybe with a specific person, and with, you know, I, it happened. I saw that the other day with Andy, and that was a beautiful moment. Uh, also, Grigor, I think, earlier in the season did something very nice when he uh, went to the stands and gave uh, his uh, t t towel or shirt or cap to one of the, the fans that was in the wheelchair. And those types of moments are really something that um, stays with his people forever. But it also uh, feeds our soul. You know, it, it makes us feel great and very grateful and appreciative of the fact that they pay tickets to come and watch you, you know, and support you and, you know, so um, good or bad, you know, in the end of the day, we are all there to celebrate the sport and uh, tennis players and this tournament. And, and, and uh, when, it all, when it's all said and done, I do really appreciate everyone uh, who is contributing to the, to the tennis ecosystem. So, of course, I always want to be on on a brighter, on a posi more positive note or positive side of the the cheering coming from the stands, so uh, those kind of kind of moments that Andy um, lived a few days ago is something that really transcends sport uh, and sends a great message. One more. Yeah, uh, Novak, welcome back. I mean, being away for five years has given you new appreciation of this tournament, of this state, California, that we're in. And what would it mean to you? Uh, I would love to. <laughs> uh, obviously, still a long way to get to, to, to the title match, but it's a good start. Um, I know I can always produce better tennis, and you know, obviously, very self-critical. And I think, you know, to some extent, that it's also important because then it, it puts you in the right mindset of wanting to work more and being engaged in the process of improving on a daily basis, of trying to perfect your game, uh, right the wrongs that you've done in a previous match or previous practice session. So that's what I'm going to keep doing and hopefully building my game as um, this tournament is um, played over you know, 10 to 14 days. So it allows you to have the <clears throat> practice uh, days also between matches, which uh, then, uh, um, you know, of course, allows you to work on certain specifics in the game. And, and I think as the tournament progresses, I uh, I believe my game will get better as well. Uh, we'll feel more 
confident about myself and my chances um, to go far in the tournament. So, but we'll have to take it step by step.